Here we have 9.7, finding where a function is um, increasing, decreasing, or constant. And so we have to remember that they're asking us for interval notation. And when they ask us for interval notation, they want to know just the x values, okay? Not the y values here. And another thing is they're not going to use units here. They're going to use commas. So if you have two sections where it's increasing, you're going to put a comma in between. So I like to label first, and then I'll tell them what all the intervals are. So if I start all the way to the left, because you do have to read from left to right, if I go here, this is constant. Then I'm going downward, which means it's decreasing. Then I'm going upward, which means this part is increasing. Then I'm constant again, and then I'm increasing again. So the intervals for which it's increasing are going to be this section here. Let me use a bright color so that I don't is going to be this section here and then this section here. And I colored it the way I did because I wanted you to see that these two points correspond to certain x values and those are the x values I have to use for my intervals. Okay. Um, not only that is you have to be very careful because your intervals should always be open intervals, meaning no brackets. Even though I have solid points there, um, you're going to use parentheses when you do cons when you do the intervals of increasing and decreasing. The idea here is that um, you can never increase or decrease at a single point. So this will not be included in the intervals. So for here and here, it's going to be this x value, which is 0, to this x value, which is 1. But then I have another section where the x value is 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And that's it. And so those are the two intervals for increasing and decreasing. The second section says for me to determine where it's decreasing. Well, that only happens in this one section, which is here. And so I need to use the x values for that section. So this x value is negative 2, and then that x value is 0. And it's the only interval where it is decreasing, so that's going to be the only part of my graph or interval. Now to determine where it's constant, I have these two pieces here. So this point has the x value of negative 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4, and then it stops at negative 2. And then this section starts at the x value of 1 and goes on until it gets to the x value of 3. And that is how you determine the intervals for increasing, decreasing, and constant. Biggest thing though, again, is make sure you're going left to right when you label.